Alrighty, welcome back. I'm your man, Bad Chad, and Queen Jolene's on the camera, and it's Friday. Uh, I hope everybody's having a good Friday when you get home, get to work on your project, and, and um, do what you want to do, and that will make you happy. Right at the present moment, I've got the, I got the roof tied in place. If you come take a look, or Jolene, come take a look. I got some square stock bent around the edge of the roof. Uh, I bent that around there. I welded on the post. Welded on the edge of the on the edge of the roof. Then I got the roof attached here on square stock. And then I've got square stock coming around on the post here. Welded on the top of the door there. Welded on the top of the door there. Uh, what I did to do that, I took a coat hanger. I love these things, coat hanger. I, mean, I took a coat hanger, made the shape that I wanted with square stock, and then I commenced to beating it and pounding it and bending it and whatever. A uh, lot what I'll do on, on the square stock is I'll put it in my vise and try to bend it. Also, I'll take a big hammer. Uh, I don't know what size of hammer that would be. Two pound, two and a half pound, whatever it is. And I'll, we'll beat it on this post. And uh, the way I do that, you can see how, uh, how the post is chewed out in the middle a little bit. And when you beat on that, you can bend a piece of square stock fairly easily. Yeah, fairly easily and it bends and you can do a good job at it. Uh, we did not film this part of the process because me inside trying to weld something up basically that's why we did not do it. But we basically have the roof in uh, in position where we want it. We're, we're two, uh, two feet and a quarter inches right at this weld mark. We're two feet quarter inches at that weld mark from the floor up. So it kind of basically tells me that we're right on the money with the, with the roof right at the present moment. This is where the belt line was on the top of the car if I come around this side. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to drop the trunk lid to match up with the roof to get a coupe looking style going. Uh, Jolene and me have come up, well, whatever, we'll, we'll talk about that here in a second. We've cut it off right at the belt line here all the way along, so that's the belt line all the way along. So this part of the roof would have been on this part, it would not have went like this, it would have stood up like this. If you picture it right, this come in like this, and then it had a kink there, and this roof stood up like this. We've got this window laid down quite a bit, going that way. And the reason we could tell that, when we put the sail panels on, the sail panels stood up straight like this, and the root and the window was down. That's why we had to section this part. But now we've got a roof on the car, and it's not going nowhere. Now we've got an ass end to deal with. In the course, we actually did, we actually did, cut everything on the course we cut the roof we cut the top of the doors we cut the sail panels we we cut everything we even cut the rear end i just didn't want to we didn't want to go that far right at the present moment so i just took a little put it back to where it was put a little tape over top of it but we have, we already had cut it you can see where we have chewed it and cut it and, and uh, went for it um, the tape on this part was where we thought the line was okay we're it's just just a guess where we were coming down to what we we're going to make it look like um, so i've got it tacked right here uh, in not it's not in place but I just bring, pulled it back up and tacked it back in place sort of um, so what i'm going to do is i'm going to cut that free and drop that back down again and this is what i suggest if you're into cutting uh, this part um, basically what i like to do is i like to leave all the panels on because when the panels are on and you cut things, then, then you know it's still going to fit. So what, what has happened is we come around here. This trunk lid was tacked on. It's not perfectly in place or anything like that, but it, it fit. It worked. We're going to use it. So we come along here, cleaned it up, tacked it on. So the, t the, the trunk lid, when we cut it and we lay it down, the trunk lid is still going to fit the car. You start cutting that stuff off without your trunk lid on, you could be in a little bit of a little bit of a mess when it comes time. The dog bell just went off. But basically, um, what's going on at the present moment is we have quite a, if you take a look at it, if Jolene wants to go on the other side, if you look at it, to make a coupe out of this car, there's no way possible that we're going to make a coupe out of this car if, if our angle is going up like this. Our angle is, by the time we get done, we'd be up uh, probably by the top of the roof or something like that. We're not going for that. We're going to make a coupe out of this four door. That's basically what we're doing. And the reason we're doing that is because I think a lot of people, I don't think I have to stress too much. I think people would like to make a coupe out of this. When I'm driving down the road in a coupe, 
other than a four door if I can do pull this off fairly quick I think someone would be happy with that and someone could go for it and do it themselves um, as I drop this back drop this down what I'm looking for is I'm looking for an angle from this point to come up on the back of this part here I'm not looking to go to the square stock the square stock is kind of even with everything it does not give me I want to get it to come up a little bit so when I come up off the doors I can come up around and bring my metal up a little bit so this square stock is just here to support the roof and be welded to the top of the doors so I'm going to let the weld go on the trunk panel the panel is probably close to where it was you can see when I pull it up it's basically where it was we had to take and cut off the you're gonna have to wait we're filming sorry I'll just go answer the door and let them know and that way there that'll be all right you know what I mean and that way there we'll, we'll be fine You're going to have to just wait for a little bit. We're filming. Okay, cool. Come back another time. Another day. Yeah. Another day. Thank you. He was polite and excellent. No problem, he said. He'll come back and do another time. Um, but right now, the, as we're doing this, what I need is, is I need from here to go to there. And you can see that that does not work. I'm going to let that go. And uh, I'm going to let it go. I'm going to, so what we've done is we've come in here by the tail light and we've cut right up through the middle here you can see that we've cut right up the middle because it's going down inside and there's going to have to be a new piece of metal put in there yes there is but we had to uh, relieve that to let that to come down for the coop going up for the coop um, and the reason we are building a coop I think it's the most desirable of all the cars in my opinion I in my that's only my opinion That was easy. Cut that down pretty quick, didn't we? <laughs> it's Friday. Drop off. All right, we're just hooked up there. Now, yeah, you can see trunk lid is welded on. It, it'll bend. It'll go with it. So basically, what's going on? If you want to come take a look, baby. Now you can see how the trunk lid is laying down inside the car. Um, if we were ha to have a coupe, a coupe. Uh, trunk lid would be a lot different. I think it would roll up and do what's going on this shape here. This one has stood up obviously. We want this one to come down to match up with the, the, the back of the window. So what I have to come up with if we take a look with the camera we can see that that still is way up. So I want to push it way down. This little piece right here is um, holding me up. I'm going to cut that off because I think we're going to have to cut. I'm just going to cut that off. Never cut that off yet. We more or less just cut it and laid it down, kind of more or less showing everybody what we were doing. This tape on the side, when we when we did the tape on the other on this side, we taped it off. All we did is made a paper pattern of of the shape. Just taped it on there then we just took it to the other side and we taped the other side off to know where we're going or to, to apply it there we go i'm going to cut that off Hard to cut. 
Perfect. Alrighty, she holds water. There's still water in her. Let's pull this back. Pull this one back on this side. And we'll try, we're gonna, all we're trying to do is trying to get the angle for the trunk lid to go to the back window. That's all we're trying to do right at the present moment. We've got the hinges right here. Um, the hinges are floppy because they're only connected on this piece on, on the top of the trunk lid here. So we're gonna have to make braces for those. That, does, that still wants to come off a little bit, but pushing that down. I like to hit it right on the... I'm going to have to get inside the car and cut the rest of that off. I'm thinking that i got to cut that off. Just kind of going with kit and gloves right at the present moment. And the reason I'm going with kit and gloves is because uh, I don't want to overreact and do something that's not what we want to do but I have to cut that piece off because it's not making me happy. What I'm thinking is I have to get that down further. pretty good there now it's gonna come out and push it down again Jolene <laughs> come up with a, an idea just before we turned the camera on and uh, it's got me really thinking um, we have a 48 or 49 Packard outside that we bought um, as um, it has a large a large hood on it and uh, it was we're thinking, you know, as we get before we start the video. So as I'm doing this, I've got something else on my brain. It's got a large hood on it. It would be nice to make a bow-tailed coupe. <laughs> I know. <laughs> so basically, I've got that on my brain also, but we get this laid down here. Come on. So we're back in action again. Basically, what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay this down, tack it down, get a couple pieces of square stock, run up to the, to the back of the... Now, to me, that's pretty close. If you want to take a look, I'm going to take the zip cut and I'm going to cut these off right now. I probably will have to go underneath of the tape, but I'm going to stay on top of the tape just because we might, we might need it, you know, basically. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to run the zip cup up just so we can see a little more action on what we're doing. <laughs> just like that. Do you like that, sweetheart? It's Friday. So I just want to stand back and take a look for a second because it's always good to stand back and take a look. 
So there's what we're going for. There's what we're going for. We're going to have to have some round area going on there. Uh, I'm going to put, I'm going to apply the trunk down. I just want to see how far the trunk is down. See to me, if I leave that trunk way up there like that, I'm still going to be up quite a, quite a bit above the window. You're going to have to bend down to see that probably. But if you know what I'm trying to say, bend down where I'm seeing it. So I'm thinking if I continue on with this, this here, let's take and um, I can just start bending a piece, I suppose. But I think what I want to do is I'll push it down like that. I'm going to take a measuring tape. Push it down. Eighteen and three quarter. I'm going to want two pieces, eighteen and three quarter. So I'm just going to take and tack it on the floor. Tack it on the. I'm hoping these are the same length. Well, I'll just tack it down to 18, 18 three quarters. Tack it down, bring it down wherever it hits, it hits. Um, 18 three quarter. And then we'll know we got the trunk lid square down. Oh, that's not the one. That's not it. We'll cut one with this, I guess. And then we'll have to change the blade. I'm just going to tack that. Do not want to nail it down for good. Just want to tack it so I can make something good. So what I'm doing is I'm tacking this trunk lid down. I'm making both of them at 18 three quarter. So I'm hoping that the trunk lid is square because I can obviously push one side down further than the other. But we're going to use the floor as um, as a as a place of attachment, and then we'll use the hinge itself as a place of attachment, and uh, we should be fine. Turn that on. Need a helmet. So we did this at the course. We did that, cut that down, put that down. Obviously, we didn't cut that off. We mostly did, we did the top of the doors also, but we just didn't. Uh, we what we tacked it on, but we just pulled it back off because everything had to be tightened up and done. Uh, you know, everything had to be t tightened up a little tighter before we could do it. Um, so that's the way it went. So right at the present moment, just kind of wondering. What I'm wondering, just for shits and giggles, see, I think that I think this one might be a little bit longer. No, I don't want to tack it to the wheel. To the wheel, I want to find the. See, I'm, I'm not sure if this is the same length or not to give me the same. So I'm not sure of. able to pass me a tape measure sweetheart I'm glad that she does the filming because she can pass me the tape measure and everything like that I'm just going to measure that to see the same length seven and a half seven and a half 
seven, seven and a half for each of that point. Seven and a half. Seven and a half. Got to go with it. Just going to do this. Just going to weld that on that point. Weld that on that point. I have to push down a little further. Hmm. Just going to square that up a little bit. That one there is on top of that wheel lip there. I'm thinking that we're square across there, but... Packing it on so we can be taken off. I'm going to match this one. The floor could be down a little bit there, it could be. But I'm just going to pull her down and attach it. Right on there, right on there, good. Now I'm gonna step out and take a look at it. So basically all I wanna know now is if, I'd like to have a piece of round rod would be nice, but we can use, we'll use a piece of square stock and do it. Piece of flat stock here. Woo! She shoved off. So we got a little bit of a bend in that. Probably just about perfect for trying that. You look down that thing, she's she's beautiful. Um, not as beautiful as you, Jolene. Now if we went that's another thing. We are not going down to the to the square. I want to I want to tape that so I can look at it. Not going right, going way up too high. Or does it need more of a bend? I'm gonna tape it there so I can see it. Because it'll just fall off on me. No. Just a piece of tape on it. Should hold it. Just put a little more bend in it. Just gonna step back and take a look at it for a second. It's up on the back about an inch because of, not an inch, probably half inch because of the stainless. We're down about a two inch tape probably. That's what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run some, to get this right, I'm gonna run some two inch tape along the edge of the window all the way around and then I can bring my uh, back of my roof up to that two inch tape and that'll give me a nice line. When I bring it around the edge, we'll measure it down with this and we'll make a pattern for both sides. And the reason I'm bringing it up, up on that back window part, if you take a look at the belt line on the side of the door, how far the belt line is up from that where we cut it off at, and if you come up as far as the front window, you can see how far up this is. This is up past, up past our top of our window. This is up past that. So we're gonna, basically we can go up past uh, the, in the back. So we're going up a little bit. That's not bad to me. I don't think that's bad at all that there, especially if I bring, if you look right here, if this come down 
a little bit half inch that come down on top of that I think we'd have a really nice a really nice um, back piece going on so I'm gonna take just gonna take a look for a second gotta look this stuff all over it, she wants to check me boy she wants to touch me and it's Friday alrighty so as I'm looking at this it don't look bad going across the edge of the roof and the trunk lid doesn't look bad at all doesn't look bad Um, basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some square stock now and I'm going to make uh, we're, we're see I can see that we're right we're pretty well level there with this hinge we cut that off so it was level with this piece so we could run a piece of metal on this piece and go along here so I'm probably going to take a piece uh, I'm going to take a piece of square stock I'm going to bend it uh, put a little shape in it and I'm going to bring it from that there up to here where I think we're going to weld it we're going to try it now I'm liking I'm liking what am I liking I'm liking the back coming down to see the coop style I really am liking that I can almost tell that a lot of this is going to have to be cut off it's up too high um, we're got we got probably a little we're a little high there probably so basically I can see my metal coming from over here way over here until about to about here is what I see so I see a piece of metal coming there's gonna be a whole bunch of different strips going on here but I can see this piece here coming on as one piece I can see that being one piece from there all the way over to the edge and we can cut that off and butt that because we'll be able to get at it sometimes you can't do it because you can't get at the back side but on this one we can it that would there wouldn't look good inside the car so we probably with no doubt in our mind we will we'll cut that off put a piece in there just looking at it, I gotta look at it sweetheart I gotta look at it I'm sorry not a lot of action right at the present moment but I'm liking the, the grays going up I'm happy with it and you can see as we got this up here if we come around here then we have time for this to roll up on top of that if I come down here I can't cut straight across because it wouldn't look good you know I can't just angle it off and go straight across there there has to be like a, a contour so I'm going to get in the back of the car I'm going to pull that off I think I think that I like what's going on there get some two inch tape excuse me baby so this is where the siphon comes out you know you have to take a little bit of time to use the brain and I'm just going to cipher it out slowly if I keep thinking about that trunk outside if we were going to use the trunk outside I'd end up cutting that trunk lid right off pulling it out of there we'd add the hood to the back of the car and put it where we want it and then we build everything to it she like this she likes this boys she likes this also that might be for another project maybe I'm not sure but we have to right on the back window there sort of this was out in the rain one day I didn't I didn't, wasn't fancy about that because t you know how tape goes when it's out in the rain it's not good okay so we've got a tape line here I think the tape line's pretty good not bad so I'm gonna take this. just gonna go with the tape line sort of no I am not sort of I am on the edge of that tape line is what I'm looking at and what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump out that's the, that, that's the scary part that's the scary part
Not sure if that's right or not, but I'm just gonna put it on there for now. I think it would, I would like it to come up around more. I think I'm gonna use three, three quarter inch for that. That's not where tape's supposed to be, but you know how it is. Um, it's on the floor a lot here. I'd like to come all the way around to the front is what I'd like to do. Something like yay. It makes me happier. Looks better too, don't it? Yeah, it looks better. And a lot like there's no what can I say? There's no line that I'm going by other than what I like or what I'm go like, you know, what I like. It's it's um it's all what you like, or preference, I guess. And if it looks good to the eye, then go with it. If it don't look good to the eye, don't go with it. I've got, that, it looks like this one, I'm a little higher on that one, I think. I don't want to bring this down just a little bit. Not bad, not bad. So basically what I'm saying is that all my sheet metal, I just put that on there with a piece of tape, all my sheet metal would be coming up to this. So now I have something that instead of going straight across like that, not gonna look good, but if I have a little bit of shape to it, then you can see me coming up into here like that and, and getting a little bit of round going on there. You can see me coming up like that. It's gonna have a little bit of shape. When they're shaped to something, it's hard. It's really hard to see anything that's wrong with it. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make two pieces of um, square stock, of the same as, as each other. And then I'm gonna weld them onto the hinges from here up to the bottom of the tape. So we'll end up 45 in that. And we'll bend this piece here to put up to there, weld to the hinge. That'll give my hinge some strength. We can also go from uh, from wherever, where you can brace it. All I uh, basically want to do when I brace the hinge, I want to make it look good, basically. That's the end of it. So um, now that we've got them squared off, we've, we've chewed off some of the metal, made them look a little bit better. Now I can wear, wear a piece of square stock in there. Once that's welded in there and up to there, then, then the hinge can't move. The trunk lid's not gonna move on us. We basically could, I'm going to, you know what I'm gonna do. at the bottom line basically when when I do this when I hit this stuff on the floor like that it does not bend it bends the center nice but it does not bend the ends very good so you really have to pay attention to that I'm going to bend a little bit more I'm just going to lay it up like that I'm going to see the bottom I'm looking at the bottom angle not the top I'm gonna cut that to length. I'm gonna bang it on my bench over there and then I'll know exactly what I want. I'm gonna measure, bop, bop, bop. I'm gonna cut another piece. Actually, I'll just make this piece and then I'll cut another piece. Put that back, cut my marker. Did I put my marker down, did I? I'm gonna just bend it over there. Won't be nothing to do, put my gloves on. 
So when I get the square stock from here to there, you obviously know that I can put a nice piece of metal on from there to there, laying on the square stock, put it on halfway, and then I get room for when I bring metal from here, I get a place to go with my metal to make my side pieces. Yeah, I'm going to should maybe cut that first. I'm going to cut that in there, make that fit up there, and then cut it a little bit length. length. Excuse me. Kind of all over the place right now with it, just because I'm not sure myself. Pretty good guess, eh? Pretty good guess. I'm just gonna cut this a little bit long. Everything will be tack welded so I can take it back off. Everything will be tack welded so I can take it back off. Now I'm just going to take a look and see if I got the right angle. Not even close. You can see, if you get down and take a look at that, you can see that the center's bent and the ends aren't bent. This is bent, not the ends. Ooh, that's nice. Not as nice as you, Joey, but it's nice. It's hard to believe how controlled you can make that with a hammer. Hard to believe. Whew, that looks pretty damn good. Not bad. Not bad at all. Not going with this at all. Do not take that out of your eye. Take that out of your eye. We're just looking at that from the trunk lid. I need a little smack in the middle, and I know how to get the middle, just like this. Give me two of them, please. Give me two of them. So I'm gonna Cut another one. Uh, I'm gonna take a measure. It's gotta be a little bit longer than this. And the reason being is this one's bent. We can make it a little bit longer. No problem at all. I have the roller in there. I thought about bringing the roller out, but not everybody has the roller, and it's not necessary if I 
It's not necessary. How's that? So if you don't have a roller, you see what I'm doing here? Go for it. Take just getting that angle. Now I'm going to make the exact same shape. Also, it would take me time to get the roller out and change the dies. I um, wasn't interested. Was not interested. Let's get it up in here. And I like this too because you can you can just bend it back with a hammer if you have to. Like this. Just trying to make them both the same. Who's your daddy? Huh? Look at that, baby. Huh? Look at that. Who's your daddy? Make him any better than that. That roller wouldn't have made him any better than that. Let's get a marker. Put my marker over there with the zip cut. I'll take him over there and cut him off. That was quick. That was quicker than putting it through the roller. Gotta lay that one down on that side. Wow. That was quick. And this, this part that I'm doing right at the present moment, I guess it's all um, something I was scared of or nervous of when I was younger. Uh, when I wanted this, I didn't know whether to cut a car apart. Basically, I thought there was no, you didn't cut a car apart, you fix it. <laughs> That's what I always thought. But uh, when I met Gene Winfield in 2008, he showed me that you could cut stuff and make things and it was kind of like, wow, I can do that. And uh, that's where it's come from. Um, seeing him make something, made a sail panel on a 65 Riviera he did, and that uh, really took me back. So, we have two pieces in here um, that are on the back of the car that I think are pretty equal. That one can come down just a little any bit. Let's take and switch them. See what happens. Ah, I was in on the center of that one. Ah. We're up there a little tiny bit on that one. I want to get them both the same, that's for sure. I'm sliding down on me a little bit. But they're basically the same shape, probably off a, an eighth. I'm going to take these, lay them on the ground again. I want to take a look and see if they're bang on. are pretty good. Does not lie, does it? Maybe a little bang on that one right there. Just a little bit in the center on that one. Not much, but a little. Hard to believe to touch the hammer will do. No better than that.
seem to be up on this one a little bit. And it could even be the 45 angled press. That one's bang on. I want to take this one off a little bit. Just a little bit. Funny, you know, talking about putting the hood on, making a bow tail out of it. As soon as the ass end come down, the metal got cut off. Joey said, nope, I like it. <laughs> That's good. That's good. That's good. That makes me happy. I've got to angle that 45 a little bit with a piece of sandpaper. Just angle this a little bit. talking just a little tiny bit like an eighth now we've got a nice looking slope going on there so basically what's going to happen is I'm going to come in here I'm going to eye it up more eye it up more eye it up more eye it up more do the due diligence to make it um, where it needs to be I'll come along here and tack along this hinge I'll tack that one along that hinge there I will make I'll tape measure this from this well that distance there should be okay I'll tape, I'll tape measure this distance here from that distance over there and I'll apply the same up here. Basically is what I'm thinking. I'll just kind of, kind of, this is what I'll do. To make it square, I'll measure from there to there and there to there. And then I can have something square that goes up in behind that window to do my first start. So from right from the get-go, this is my first panel right here. This is my first panel. As we get going, um, well, I don't know if it's my first panel or not, but it's, it's the start. A panel can go right straight up in there, put it through the roller, so it goes this way. We'll push down on it. We might put a little wheel on it, get a little bit of uh, grade going in the center of it. We have a panel that comes here. I don't, I don't see no issue with that because once I cut this off, we should be able to get something that goes across to the edge of this, to the edge of this. Should be no problem with that. Basically, we'll cut this off here. We'll get a panel go across here. We'll get one to fit in here. And then we got this panel here. And then we're going to have to deal with this stuff. And, and, that, and that will come when the time comes, basically. But I'm, I'm saying that there's the 48 Pontiac coupe out of a four door as soon as I bring that together. I'm liking how the tapes run there. I'm, I'm, I'm okay with it. You know, I ran it quick, but it works. It does. It works. Um, with the side, I'm just going to have to keep cutting off until I figure out um, where I'm going over to the center panel. The trunk lid looks like it's um, past the fender a little bit, and that's okay. The reason I say that it's because it is. And what I mean by that, if you can see this right here, see how this fender is out past the trunk lid? See, you see that? It just means when I cut it off here, the metal is going to be going in this way. And there's nothing wrong with that. Um, nothing at all. Um, the metal's going in that way now, more or less, I guess. But there's the start of the 48 Pontiac Coupe. So when you come back tomorrow, um, I'll have a couple things tacked on. And, and probably I'll have the, I'll square that up, pluck that on so it's at where it's at. And uh, we'll go for making the panels down here to the trunk lid is what we'll do. Uh, and then that'll be the stairs. We'll, we'll make a panel for this. We'll make a panel for that. And then we'll just keep going right, right straight ahead. I'm hoping, I'm hoping not to spend 
a whole bunch of time on this. I really like to do it fairly quick because if, if it's something that takes months and months and months and months and runs into years to do, uh, I'm not interested in, in doing that right at the present moment. I'm interested in making a uh, 48 Pontiac coupe out of a four door in a short amount of time. So if I can get this done in less than you know two or three weeks, I'd be very happy. Um, we are leaving it in bare metal, which it makes it <laughs> a lot faster. Um, I'm basically going to strip some more paint off. I stripped some paint off the door the other, last night. Also, I want to show, I had uh, Greg welded the door up on the driver's side, and um, he kept saying, I'm a, weld I'm a grinder, not a welder. Well, anybody that welds on a car must know that you're, you're grinding your weld after you're done. And I just want to let Greg know, if Greg's watching, I ground off this one. It came out absolutely awesome. So basically, um, like I said, more weld, the better, because I can grind it off nice. I got to grind this one off, and it'll look exactly the same as that one. I kind of held, held, had Greg held out there for a bit, because the welds weren't looking that great, because they're, you know, it's black, it's sooty, it's whatever. But once they're ground off, they look absolutely awesome. So if you feel like, you know, you're not the best welder, well, neither am I. But basically, you must know that all the welds have to be ground off before you apply filler or anything like that to get it ready. So no worries. And if you see something that looks perfect, you must realize that it's been welded two, three, four, five times if it has to, to grind off, to fix everything, to make it look the way they want to look. If you want to do that, you're more than welcome to. That's not me. I'm trying to do as quick as I can and be as fast as I can. And basically, that tells me if I'm quick, I'm good. And uh, that's the only way you really can tell if you're good, at, basically, can you not? Like, I mean, um, the faster you can do it, the better you are. Um, the faster you can run the 100th uh, sprint um, tells you if you're, if you're good or not, how fast you are. And uh, the fastest man in the world is the best. I hate, I hate to say that, but to me, if you're good, become faster. And basically, that's makes you feel good about yourself inside, I guess. If I could build this car uh, in three weeks, have it in bare metal with all the help that I've had, um, that'd be awesome to be able to turn a four door into a coupe in three weeks. You know, I, I don't want to just chop the roof or, or, you know, round a door corner in three weeks. I want, I want to chop the whole car and, and make something different, basically, was where I'm at. But it's looking really good, so I'm just going to continue on with what's going on there. Uh, I'm going to keep stripping the paint off. You can see what it's looking like. We're not, we took off the front fender because of the front fenders on this car because with the man that we bought it from said they were repaired. And I could see the metal hanging off the bottom, how they were repaired. And I had a couple fairly good fenders out there for this car, for one of these cars. It does not fit the grill, obviously, um, because we're going to end up changing that. But I had a couple fenders out there. That's why the young guys, the young bucks there, stripped it down and, and going to put it on. The other fender's not the greatest, so I'm going to sandblast that one. He said he did a bunch of repair on this one. I'm, I'm, you know, if we're going to do a bare metal car, I really don't want to get into you know, fender repair or a bunch of it. So I'm going to be looking for a couple fenders off of this one of these cars, but I'm going to leave these ones alone until I get the work done. And then I can maybe find something and change them and strip them down to bare metal. Uh, yeah, it's Friday. Have a good Friday, everybody. And, and this right here, when, when you're doing this sort of stuff, you know, like there's, there's many comments, you know, saying it's out of proportion. Of, well, I'm putting it in my proportion, in my eye. And you have to do, you do the exact same thing that you want to do. Just because, you know, to do it right, you got to cut the door and change the post. Well, no, that's, that's not true. I am making a coupe the way I want to make it as quick as I can. To, to satisfy myself. When, when the car is done, the coupe is going up the road, it will satisfy me, believe me. Um, believe me. So um, that's basically where it's at. Like if you, I'm, I'm basically showing um, it's okay to jump out of the box and not do it the right way. <laughs> Whatever the right way is, you know. You know, when I built the drive shaft, you know, I had people tell me, well, you got to do it the right way. Well, what's the right way? We went down the, we went down the track. Joey spun the wheels in it. The drive shaft never fell out of that car. It never humped and bumped and went on. I've made every drive shaft in every car I've ever done. You know, to do it the right way. What's the right way? Your way? Nope. I do it my way. 
make myself happy. And I suggest that you do it your way to make you happy. And um, to say something is out of proportion or is this or that, there's so many cars that I think are, you know, this or that or I have an opinion of. But that's none of my business what other people do. My business is what I do. And it's Friday, and I'm having a lot of fun making this into a coupe right in front of your very eyes, and I hope that you do the exact same thing when you're building your car. Make sure you do it your way. Do not let someone tell you that it's wrong when, when it's, they're none of their concern. What they think is none of your business. Make sure you make yourself happy and do it your way. And that's what I, that's what I do every time. And I'm happy. I've got a, a beautiful woman, and uh, it's Friday. And like, share, comment, uh, ring my bell. And you can tell me it's out of portion if you want, but that's your opinion. <laughs>